Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you, Jennifer, yeah. for the intro. And uh, I'd like to thank Don Scott of the National Biodiversity Board for having us and promoting our uh, project, the Clean Cruiser Project. I'd also like to thank really quickly um, Jennifer and um, Tyler Case of New Leaf Biofuels for taking on us on a tour of their facility. Um, it's right down the road for any of you that haven't been there. It's about uh, three miles or something from here. So definitely worth checking out. It was, you know, those people have a great mission and are doing cool things. My name is Steve. I'm co-founder of the Clean Cruise Project and CEO. Um, our project is designed to educate individuals on environmental conservation efforts around the world. I'd like to give you a quick rundown on who I am and what our project hopes to do in the next few years. And um, I'm going to start with my past. So in 2002, my father handed down to me uh, my very first off-road vehicle. It was a 1994 Toyota pickup truck. And I explored the Sierra Nevada uh, religiously with that truck and really started to um, understand what, you know, off-road enthusiasts uh, have come to know, which is that you can get out to places out in the middle of nowhere and really see something that most people can't uh, really understand. So anyways, 16 years later, I'm a 40 series junkie, and uh, that means my pockets are empty, but I've got a big smile. I built that truck. Um, <laughs> By hand, you know, it took me a little over a year, and it was well worth the pain. Um, throughout the years, put countless miles on a number of Toyota vehicles, and um, in all that time, over all those miles, I never once thought about uh, the impact that my recreational vehicle use uh, had on our planet. Uh, to be fair, it's not that I didn't really uh, consider the environment. I just, you know, emissions just weren't something that I had thought about. I felt like I did my part, and I was one of the good ones. You know, I um, stayed on, stayed on the path while I'm driving my truck. I picked up trash when I saw it. I left the campsite better than uh, I found it, and I thought I was doing my part. Um, could have been a poster boy for tread lightly, <laughs> but in recent years, uh, I started noticing that the views from my pristine getaways, my hideaways, were um, becoming a little, little bit less remarkable, and I couldn't help but uh, think about my part in that. And so, uh, take it about 15 years down the road, and um, my good friend and I are sitting in our garage taking apart two beautiful land cruisers. And um, we decide, let's take a trip from Paso Robles, California to the Darien Gap and these things. Um, as the rust was removed, you know, we, um, we started thinking, let's do something that's going to be beyond us. Uh, Let's do this trip carbon neutral. And so I'll let you know right now, uh, restoration is not a young man's game. Uh, <laughs> like I said, pockets are empty, but totally worth it. Great life experience. Um, we quickly determined that we could uh, complete the combined 10,000 mile journey carbon neutral by planting trees and utilizing biofuels. Um, after a few calculations, we discovered that uh, we could plant about 200 trees and offset our carbon emissions. And now with biofuels, our understanding is that we'll have to plant even fewer trees than that. So um, the whole idea is to leave the air quality better than we, we, uh, we found it, right? In any case, uh, we began building a platform to share our journey with others, calling it the Clean Cruiser Project. That was supposed to be a placeholder, but it stuck. Uh, we're not geniuses and, you know, it worked out for us. So uh, we quickly discovered that our followers were either diesel enthusiasts or um, off-road fanatics. And if you've ever talked to a diesel enthusiast or off-road fanatics about uh, offsetting carbon emissions, it's a scary feat. It's scarier than my last tour to Afghanistan. Um, my theory is that most people just don't want to be called a hippie or a tree hugger. Uh, <laughs> And I don't know, I think most people in this room just really don't care what they're called. Um, you know, do what's right for the environment. I have a healthy respect for the environment, and I, I imagine most people in this room do. So um, fortunately, our audience uh, continued to grow, and we decided to reach out to off-road industry. Um, it was a lot of serious work, but over that period of time, over the last year, we gained about 30 sponsors, uh, all the way from ARB, to Martin Guitar, to uh, Tapui Tents, and 
perhaps most importantly, um, besides the National Biodiesel Board, <laughs> Cummins Engines. Um, Cummins Engines provided us with two brand new Crate R2.8 turbo diesel engines. Um, and it was quite a feat putting them in there, but it was 100% worth it. Um, definitely, you know, increased the project's marketability. And um, that's why we're on the stage here today. So, <clears throat> what happened <laughs> um, is basically, you know, we decided to go big or go home. So, um, that's why we're here, like I said. Clean Pr uh, Cruiser Project will be producing a web-based film series where we will investigate conservation efforts all around the world um, while traveling carbon neutral. Our goal is to inspire individual carbon footprint reduction and drive participation uh, in conservation efforts. Not by shaming people, not by telling them that what they're doing is wrong, and, um, but educating them and letting them learn along with us. That's our goal. Um, and kind of teaching them that simple changes uh, like using alternative fuels whenever available make, make drastic impacts. And, you know, hopefully um, people will see that and connect with that. We're excited to say that uh, this, this May we will also be showcasing our, uh, both of our trucks at the Overland Expo West uh, with the National Biodiesel Board, which is uh, kind of something that came to fruition uh, yesterday. So we're very excited about that um, and promoting biodiesel you know, all around the country. Um, we can't wait to start spreading the word about third-party carbon sequestration and biofuels, but we can't do this on our own. Our nonprofit is currently fundraising for the first se uh, season of the film series, and we have designed a budget which is roughly $250,000. That may sound like a lot, but we're trying to shop this to Netflix, we're trying to shop it to Amazon Prime, um, and it, it takes money to produce a film series. Um, but I think it's valuable. It has more value than, um, than a lot of other TV series I've seen. So in any case, um, for every $10 donated, our organization will plant one additional tree um, at one of uh, three reforestation sites that have been provided by uh, Patagonia. So we've been working with Patagonia. They provided us with three sites that they vetted and provided uh, large grants to. Um, so we are highly interested in finding a soul presented by a sponsor as well. Um, so we're still working on that. If anybody wants to you know, talk to me about that later, please do. Uh, we are also accepting tree donations just uh, directly from individuals on our website, which is www.cleancruiserproject.com. And, uh, yeah, if you have an Instagram, please check us out. We're always putting funny, ridiculous stuff on there. And, you know, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'd like to thank the National Biodiesel Board and the rest of the panel. And